I'm about to go ride with a new rider. I was thinking about taking the Super 10 ride, but I'm going to be riding that tomorrow with Sean. So I figure a uh, new rider. She is pretty new. She rides a Ninja 400. So I'm not exactly sure. So look at this cicada. Look at this cicada on my wheel. You got to get out of here before I run you over, buddy. Look at that. There's cicadas everywhere. If you can't hear it, look, another one there. They're just everywhere. All right, let's uh, pull into Burtonsville. How's it going? All right, we are on our way off of Burtonsville. What I like about meeting in Burtonsville is that it puts you out in the countryside in a matter of miles. That's why Burtonsville is always a good place if you want to ride Northern Maryland. So I'm kind of when I uh, ride with new riders, I kind of like assess them a little bit. So I'm looking behind to see how she rides or he rides around corners and stuff. Uh, she's pretty far back, so that sweepy, sweeping corner is was a little bit too much. So she is just brand new, so I always worry a little bit about new riders. But I like these roads because they're isolated. They do not have, okay, I should definitely slow down, so I pay attention. Yeah, she definitely, like, she doesn't lean it very much, which is fine, but if I show her lines, she'll start following those lines, and oftentimes, reading roads is very important for riders, and it's probably the skill that a lot of riders do not have, because it takes a lot of time to develop a way of reading roads because often often riders just ride this very aggressive line throughout and it it forms a bad habit later on so many cicadas on the ground when like this girl said oh the best thing about the cardo pack for communications is like i can talk to my boyfriend when he's riding and then right then and there I said, yeah, that's going to keep me from buying one. I mean, that's the worst advertisement you could possibly do for like a communication system. Is like, you're going to get your blabbering girlfriend to like constantly be in your ear talking. And then when you're out of the bike, you get her like in your ear, like blabbing away about her problems. You don't want that. Oh, there's some gravel and stuff. Yeah, you don't want that. Who the hell are these people that they want to talk to their girlfriends? I mean, the perfect girlfriend really is a mute. I, I would love to have like a deaf girlfriend and mute because um, I've actually like gone around to Gallaudet University and that's where they have like the mute women. And that's a perfect place to pick up some like mutes. All right, the battle continues. This is a nice bike, Ninja 400. Really nice. Oh yeah, still uses a key. I was expecting keyless, but it revs the 11,000, actually more, for 15,000. But it feels, or it looks almost physically about the same size as the Ninja 250. I've always liked this set of twisties here, 20 miles an hour. <laughs> I like that you can see through it. You can't see cars or... I'm sure there's been a lot of people that have crashed here. I'm going to hit brake because I want to make sure that she knows that it's a very tight corner here. It tells riders behind that it's tighter than what you think. Yeah, she's being pretty cautious and I think she is getting more comfortable with the corners. It's nothing. Look at this guy. What is this bike? That was a Ducati. I think that was a Ducati monster. Ooh. Nice house. 15 mile an hour, one lane bridge. So I'm gonna make sure that I slow down quite a bit and there's a car coming. I, uh, I have to let that car go. But that's, I love these bridges. Look at that, so cool. That's always fun. It was nice that he was letting me through, but we're in Frederick. I actually did not want to go through the downtown, but when in Rome or in Frederick, 
definitely a try to avoid this area. Yeah, that's a nice restaurant. I've eaten there once. There's the police. I'm glad they didn't defund the police here. So I guess we'll just run the entire way of the main street in Frederick restaurants. Everything is bouncing back. This virus, man. I don't know, because uh, we're taking back roads, so it's harder. Very, very. Oh, look at that unicorn, that Honda Element unicorn. All right, I am off to High Rock, and maybe even beyond, all by myself. Yeah, I think um, this might have been too much riding for her. I don't think she's used to this these longer sort of rides so there's not much I can do because this is actually kind of like a short ride for me but we're off and I guess we don't have a restriction on the the size and the speed now so I can go a little bit faster I really love Frederick like I was just in the city and then into the suburbs and now I am riding around the countryside look how beautiful this area is and you know Frederick has got a backdrop of the of the mountains you see that over there those are the mountains they're not these super high mountains but they're amazing looking especially where where you're in a different part of the area where if you're in DC you don't have much to look at sneak up on you. You know, it surprisingly goes around corners fairly well. I actually like these roads a little bit more, the narrower roads, because there's less traffic. But today, there's hardly anybody. I did see biker boys run through, but I don't think people are awake or something, or maybe they're all like boozed out of their minds. Can you imagine all those veterans that actually like fought in Vietnam? They saw their friends get killed in front of them. They got blown up by landmines. They uh, were like living in the jungle trying to avoid Viet Cong. And then we have the bikers of today who are afraid of grass clippings. I am somewhere in Frederick and the SH is doing really well. I've never really took it on a large ride, but I am very close to High Rock. And I believe it's right up there where those antennas are. Here we go, Penmar. This is where High Rock is. It's become already this very popular hangout for motorcycle riders. And in a way, once the bloom is off the rose, it's time to find another place to bring riders. Look at all the bikes. I knew there would be a lot of motorcycles here. So that's pretty much what High Rock's all about. It's become kind of like a social gathering for motorcyclists to come over here because it's such a nice ride here. Welcome to Pennsylvania. Oh, we're in Pennsylvania, who knew? This is Pennsylvania. I actually never even paid attention to that. What's over here? At 100 miles an hour, it's kind of hard to see. Look at this barn, that is awesome. Somebody converted a barn into a house. Probably that lady. Another one lane bridge. Yeah, this one's not as epic. Smithsboro. This is called Smithsboro. Very cute. Looks like uh, something out of the Civil War. Bunch of motorcyclists up there. I actually need to fill up, so I might have to, because I'm going to go straight and to the right. 
but I believe there's a gas station here somewhere. Let me see. Yeah, I guess not. I know there's a gas station somewhere. Hey, look at these guys. Oh, that kid fell. You know the worst thing about riding in a time that's really nice, like good weather? It's all the other motorcyclists that are coming the opposite way and you have to keep like waving at them. You know, it deals gap, at least once you get there, people stop waving because there's too many bikes. But it reminds me of Europe. Like when guys go from here to there, they start waving at people, but none of the motorcycle riders really wave back at you because they ride all year round. And they're used to like just behaving like a car would. First fill up, actually second fill up, 129 miles on 1.1 gallon. It has a really pretty, these guys didn't even wave at me, jackwads. This is quite a difference between say PG County, Capitol Heights, Fairbond Heights and this. I love how clean this is compared to the area I live in. People don't throw trash, like there's no trash on the road, have you noticed that? Whenever I go by Capitol Heights, it's like trash everywhere. It, it makes no sense, it's like, why are you throwing trash on the road? Beautiful, like everybody's out riding bicycles and motorcycles and their hogs. Roddy Road Covered Bridge. Gotta mark this down. Very nice. Oh yeah, yeah, I stopped here one time. Oh, very nice. Thurmond. And this is the main intersection. When, whenever you come into a town, there's always like a little downtown area. And this is it. It's the junction of Route 77 and whatever this is. 550, I think. Lots of that. A lot of Trump signs, man. I actually like this little section here, too. By just taking photos of the bridge. Oh, lots of motorcycles. Loy's Station Covered Bridge. Oh yeah, look at that. They have little barbecues here. There we go. This one has been under construction for a while this this is Utica Utica bridge or off an of old Frederick Road look at it and it's pretty cool looking I kind of want to take a photo but look at that these people even have a shed that matches the bridge bridges like this oh man that is so nice so nice I am very surprised that this little thing can move as fast as it can in these little back roads. It's amazing really when you think about how fast and how usable the power on this scooter is. Like I don't really feel like I need more power. Of course I'd be riding faster on a motorcycle but that's the thing this fleet feels plenty of fast. You don't feel like you need any more power and the large wheels make it so stable that you can easily just keep pushing it. Guys, I am pretty much done with the ride for today and I'm on Memorial Day and let me see how many miles I've gotten. 189. So by the time I get home I'll probably have 195 miles. That's almost 200 miles on this thing. That's incredible. Stuck here.
The cops won't bother me. 